Hello, this is Doug. Have you ever gotten an Excel report and you just knew that there was going to be a bunch of duplicates or repeating data in it? Well, maybe it's your job actually to weed out any type of duplicate in files that you get. You know, Excel actually makes it pretty easy to do this to get unique records out of a table. So in this video, I'm going to show you not one, but two ways you can filter out unique records from a table. So here's the first way that we can get duplicate records out here. So we have duplicate records in row 5 and 15 and row 18 and 23. Now this is using the unique function. It's a function that's available for Microsoft 365 users. All you need to do is select your array. It's going to look for all the unique records there. Press enter and now we've got them all here. So you've noticed that Marina only shows up once here now and Virgil only shows up once here. So that was really quick. And one thing to note, note about using the unique function is it's a dynamic array function. So you have to be aware that if you've got anything that's in the way of the function, let's say I put some errant data here, there's going to be a spill error. So I get rid of that, then the data is going to come back. So if you've got anything in the way where the dimensions of the table or range is supposed to be, it's going to give you a spill error. But that's the way you can get this unique data. Now, if you don't have Microsoft 365 for Excel, you can use the other way. This is using the advanced filter function. Let me go into the next tab. Here we have our same data. Marina shows up here twice, 5 and 15, and Virgil in 18 and 23. All we need to do is go under data and click advanced. That brings up the advanced filter. It's going to look for my data range. Let's select it all. I'm going to include the fields here. Click that. And where do I want to put it? I want to copy it to another location. I don't need to filter it in place. Let me copy it to another location because maybe I want to keep that there. Right? And so I just need to copy it here and select unique records only. Click OK. And there you go. We have our unique records. Double click to auto fit that. And now we have our unique range of data with no duplicates. So there you go. There's actually a lot of ways that you can filter and get unique records from a table. But these two are actually fairly easy and pretty painless, don't you think? If you think there's other ways you can do it, feel free to leave your comments below so you can help others out. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.